Anthony Fantano here, the internet's busiest music nerd, and it's time for a review of the new Holy Ghost album, Dynamics. Holy Ghost is a New York synth pop duo that is incredibly influenced by disco, electro disco, bit of new wave as well, and this is their sophomore full-length LP. I've been highly anticipating it, especially since their debut album that came out in 2011 on DFA Records was one of my favorite albums of that year. For me, the band's debut is just a little slice of dance music bliss. Memorable choruses, really sharp melodies, hard, just fun grooves, and on top of it, some of the tracks had an interesting lyrical angle to them, whether it be some kind of funny personal perception like the track Do It Again, which was a bit of a critique on dance music scenes, and there's the track Jam For Jerry, which was sort of in tribute to a friend of theirs who had recently passed. Of course, James Murphy was meddling in the production on that album, and it led to just an immaculately sharp and modern dance music sound for the band and he returns for this sophomore album as well, making sure that the instrumentation sounds vivid and just punchy as well as oh, so colorful. I would say the only weak thing about Holy Ghost's whole ensemble is the vocals. The thing about their debut is that the songs were just too good to deny. And while I wasn't exactly expecting some kind of night and day difference between the vocals on the band's debut and the vocals on this new sophomore record of theirs, at least I was hoping for an album where, again, the songs were just too good to deny. And admittedly, I did get some solid tracks on this record. I got some very good tracks on this record. And the production is, is actually still phenomenal. I would actually say it's a little more detailed and layered than it was on the band's debut. There are loads of different synth textures on this thing, whether they be buzzing, bouncing bass lines. There are sharp, sporadic bleeps and bloops, really atmospheric, beautiful, icy chimes, very airy, elongated notes that kind of hang in the background wonderfully as well. But uh, the vocals, again, they're, they're a little bit... <sighs> For the most part on these songs, they're just kind of passable, not really reaching too far up or down in pitch, or coming off that passionate or fiery either. And this can especially be an issue when you have a track that has a very repetitive verse melody, where you're not really getting a lot of just oomph. I still find the lyrics to be pretty interesting, self-aware. The song OK kind of details this story that for me feels like uh, dealing with a bit of relationship trouble. And the song Dumb Disco Ideas literally seems to be some kind of jumbled mess of phrases and ideas having to do with the band running on a really tight schedule, playing on a set, playing on a stage, needing water, going to this place, going to that place. And the song I Want to Be Your Hand is maybe one of the strangest love songs I've heard in a while. Sonically, it, it sort of sounds like a piece of a adult contemporary soft rock from the 80s. The band plays it off well with some really great production and a really catchy chorus though and some sort of silly lyrics that I hope are tongue in cheek. If anything, the song actually reminds me of something Ariel Pink would do with it. And maybe my favorite track on here has gotta be, it must be the weather. Dude. This is one of those tracks that, that makes me feel like not only does Holy Ghost play this retro vintage style of pop music, of synthesizer pop music, but they make music in this genre that sounds as awesome to me as the older stuff, as the classic stuff. Not only do the vocals on the verses on this track feel a lot more passionate to me, but the layers of this song. Oh, the way it kicks off. Wow. The lead vocals, those little background vocals that sort of chime in when you're nearing the chorus. It must be the weather. And as the song progresses, you get these stretches of time where you're just getting these little beat interludes. Awesome fills. Oh, it's, it's such a wonderful track. It just, it makes me feel like I'm listening to just the magic of Toto and just slowed down and smoothed out and sexified. And, and speaking of influence, there are some moments on this LP where I feel like I'm hearing guitar parts, drum beats, or bass lines that sound identical to guitar parts, drum beats, and bass lines 
from the three fantastic LCD Sound System albums. Now, of course, James Murphy had his hands in the production of this album. It still kind of sticks in the back of my head when I listen to tracks such as Changing of the Guard, where the guitars and drums kind of sound like something out of Daft Punk is playing at my house, or Dumb Disco Ideas, whose intro sounds a lot like Us V Them. While I don't really mind Holy Ghost directly borrowing from one of the greatest modern dance music projects on the planet, why sort of take this influence and only bring it as far as a few grooves in your production sound? Why not take a note from the eccentricity or the over-the-top vocals? It's that lack of boldness that makes songs like Bridge and Tunnel, for example, while they do have a really fun disco-esque string section laid onto the track, pretty ambitious, I feel like this song and maybe a few others on here embrace more dance music stereotypes than they really need to. And the ending of this album, while it's not bad, it's not as strong as it could be, certainly not as strong as the ending of their last LP, the song Don't Look Down just kind of feels like a slightly rehashed and, and underwhelming New Order song. And the song In the Red, it's a little too short to be exciting, though it is very pretty. I wish it was more developed and sort of brought a bit more closure. And I'm kind of left wondering here, where is one of the better tracks to drop before this album came out? Teenagers in Heat. Fantastic song, and it's actually just left off this album entirely. Overall, I think this is a relatively solid dance music record. If you're looking for dance music with some slightly sharp vocals, really catchy hooks, some fantastic production and grooves. Give this thing a listen. I'm feeling a light to decent seven on this record. Transition. But what do you think of this Holy Ghost album? Do you love it? Hate it? Why? What do you think I should review next? And that's it. Anthony Fantano, Holy Ghost, Dynamics, Cute Puppy, Forever.